Americans have Joe Biden as their president. <laughs> He's currently hosting the NATO summit, which must be awful for him because all the world's media are watching his every move for signs of dementia. A fifth Democrat, one of his colleagues, has now come out calling for him to stand aside. And on top of that, Donald Trump has challenged him to a game of golf. I'm also officially challenging Cricket Joe to an 18-hole golf match right here. It will be among the most watched sporting events in history, maybe bigger than the Ryder Cup or even the Masters. I just love the way Trump <laughs> right. cannot help himself. I'm going to challenge you to golf, but not just any golf game. This will be the greatest golf yeah, that's game right. ever. Oh, It'll be bigger it. than the Olympics. <laughs> It'll be bigger than Ben-Hur. Uh, do you reckon he goes home at night and he just sits on his couch and thinks... I was funny today. He loves trolling. <laughs> he is the ultimate troll. He loves trolling and he's incredibly good at it. Of course, Biden is never going to take him up no. on this offer. His moments of being able to get around unaided uh, don't really last longer than a breath mint nowadays. He is struggling physically as well as mentally. And this is something that an expert with regard to which disease is it? Parkinson's decided to take to the airwaves in America and explain, I could actually have told you that this guy has Parkinson's, having just observed him across the way in a crowded shopping centre. Word finding difficulties, and that's not, oh, I couldn't find the word. That's from degeneration of the word retrieval area. He's also overcome stuttering, though. Could, could, that, could that be part of that, too? No, this is not a palatal issue or a speech discrepancy, which is very different from a lemono dysfunction, actual word retrieval, where you pick a similar question or talk around the issue, plus the rigidity, um, monotone voice. Wait, go back to that, the rigidity. What do oh, you mean? rigidity, loss of arm swing, standing up lordotically. You notice when he turns, it's kind of end block turning. It's not a quick turn. Um, so la la that's one of the hallmarks of Parkinson's is rigidity and bradykinesia, slow movement. And he has that hallmark, especially with the uh, low voice that said was a cold, hypophonia, a small monotone voice like this over time is a hallmark of Parkinsonism. I could have diagnosed him from across the mall. Parkinson's right. experts calling it loud and clear. And yet here's a picture of Biden determined to stay in the race at all costs. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> that is a direct quote from Biden, by the way. He has declared, let me be clear as I can, I am staying in the race. He Although is I, be I believe that image has been digitally altered. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not entirely sure. Are you saying that's to a look deep better. Fake? I'm not entirely sure. To look that's more right. alive. I think, I think they've, just, they've just done a bit of photoshopping there. He's got Kim Kardashian <laughs> to do the thing. But it is, it is honestly just extraordinary. Um, he, and and the, the fact that I think people are now... I'm now seeing reports saying that most Democrats are still saying they support him. Yeah. It's like, that's not really the point. It's not like whether or not you get 51% of your own side saying that as the president and candidate and nominee, they support you. It's kind of like, if any don't support you, <laughs> that's a problem. That is very bad. Um, on the logistics, though, of, um, of Joe Biden's um, particular mental acuity, um, he, we all know that the, um, he's come out and said, look, after 8pm, I'm not at my best. It's probably bedtime, probably duck in for a nap. And so a reporter from Fox News in the White House decided to, um, to really get to the bottom of what this means for the security of the United States of America. I mean, what if the axis of evil doesn't sleep after 8 p.m. Eastern. Have a look. Say that the Pentagon at some point picks up an incoming nuke. It's 11 p.m. Who do you call? The First Lady? He has a team that uh, lets him know of any, of any news that is pertinent and important to the American people. Uh, he has someone or that is decided, obviously, with his National Security Council on who uh, gets to tell him that news. Poor old Corinne Jean-Pierre. She's not having a good day. I, I love what <laughs> she, she says. Just, oh. She says it's all right. Joe Biden has he has a team yeah, of <laughs> doctors, <laughs> of neurologists, who will then of try to the from the dead. That's right. But then the other part about this is you've got uh, the press now in the White House briefing room, openly mocking the President of the United States and his White House spokesperson 
clearly just looking incredibly uncomfortable and not even really trying to defend or defuse. She just wants to get out of there. It could not be any worse. It's, and it's, it's terrible. Like, who, you, how would you wish that, Joe, on someone? You might as well be giving the job of, you know, selling <laughs> <laughs> woolly jumpers to Eskimo. It's just amazing. It's it, and, and I just I cannot believe that it has gotten this far. I still just do not understand how. Like, he hasn't just been blasted out by everyone, anyone with a pulse. I'm failing that. Where is the CIA when you need them? <laughs> and, and yet they continue... You just RFK him. Come on. You've done it before. You can do it again. We, we know. There, You're very... Isn't capable. there a switch or something that they can just, like, oh, no, I've got to power him down. He's gone rogue. Yet they continue to insist that, you know, everything is fine. Have a listen to John Kirby and uh, Karine Jean-Pierre talking about how Joe Biden will hold a series of press conferences which they are calling... Big boy press conferences. After that, the president will hold a press conference. I guess a big boy press conference yes. is what we're calling it. Um, and take some questions from you all. This week, President Biden will speak to national labor leaders of AFL-CIO, host the NATO summit to show the unprecedented strength of our alliance, hold a press conference, a big boy press conference, according to Justin Sink from Bloomberg. I'm guessing it's called a big boy press conference because, Liz, if he does a good job, they say, good boy, you've he been a good boy. Oh, the question. He's, he's putting like his big boy pants on. He's getting out of the shorts. He's putting his big boy pants on. Sadly, as we know from Whoopi Goldberg, those pants... Yes, last night we talked about that. ...may or may that. not end up being soiled. OK, let's not That's go so back gross. there, Joe.